Hello, welcome to Nina's Knots Crochet. I'm Lenann. If you're new here, hey, thanks for stopping by and checking out my channel. My channel, well, it's all about crochet. Eh, sometimes it's about knitting and sometimes it's about yarn, but mostly it's about my life and my journey through this fantastic yarny community. Returning subscribers, thanks so much for coming back, spending a little bit of your Wednesday with me. Um, if you could do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button, the like button, uh, leave me a comment, do all the things that YouTube likes you to do. Um, it really does help out the channel in the long run. So I really do appreciate it. Um, today, what are we gonna talk about today? So today is October 2nd, 2024. It is the official fall season around here. Um, although it's still 90 degrees outside. I'm in Florida. Um, anyway, we, this channel, I am going to dub the fall, the season of the smalls. And what I mean by that is that, yes, I have currently three large projects on my hooks. Um, the special reserve yarn project which I'm going to do a separate video for that on Thursday. So we'll talk about that then. I have my uh, Tunisian project from a knit, knit pattern to Tunisian crochet challenge that I'm doing with Jackie from Crochet ADHD. And on a side note, <clears throat> I talked to Jackie on the phone on Monday. She is doing well. She is super, super busy. Um, you know, life, adult, kids, everything gets in the way. She misses everybody. She's gonna get back as soon as she can. She's dying to get back. Um, she even filmed a video. She just hasn't edited it. And you know, Jackie, she's gotta do her editing. Um, but um, on another side note, side note, uh, part of our conversation on Monday was that, um, if you remember last fall, she went to a fiber festival in Vicksburg, Mississippi called Fiber, fiber Fun in the Sip. Um, and I said to her, oh my gosh, I will go to it next time. Just let me know when it is. Well, they skipped having it this fall and they're having it in the spring next year. So in February of 2025, I think it's the 21st and 22nd of February at the Vicksburg Convention Center, they're having the Fiber Fun in the Sip Fiber Festival. Jackie and I, and I think Lynette from Charm Grammy, and Joe from Joe's Web, and maybe some others are gonna meet up at this convention at this Fiber Festival, and I get to be in the same room with these guys. It's gonna be so exciting. I cannot wait. Um, we'll talk more about it uh, down the road, but keep in mind, if you're around in February, it might be a fun uh, thing to do. Jackie was even talking about maybe teaching a class. So, I mean, they have classes, they have um, vendors. I guess on the Thursday before the actual opening, there's a big uh, Mardi Gras party, like a mask Mardi Gras party. I mean, it sounds like a great time. So, uh, more information to come about that probably closer to January. But keep in mind, if you're available in the Vicksburg, Mississippi area, I mean, it's, you know, Mississippi, Alabama, whatever, in that area, uh, it's a great, it sounds like a great time. So anyway, getting back on track. Okay, so I'm working on that with Jackie and it's working out really well. I finished, I just have to bind off. I have finished the first back panel. I have to start the second back panel and then uh, now that I know the process, this will go a little bit faster. I've been doing some measuring and trying to make sure that I've got everything right. So now that I know that this panel is correct, I'm going to duplicate this panel for the back, the second back panel. And then the front panel has some shaping because it's a V-neck. So I should be able to, if I start just giving this all of my, most of my attention, we should be able to get this done by the end of October. We challenged each other to have it done by the end of October. So that is doing the, uh, pretty well now that I've got it down and I know what I'm doing and I've done, I've managed to take the measurements and everything and transpose it over. So now I'm doing good with that. So in the meantime, in between all of that, 
I'm going to keep doing this, the small projects. Um, I'm going to keep up with the um, dishcloth a week with Laura at Man Mimi's Crochet and Farming, the Wipeout Wednesday. So that's a small project. That one just takes, you know, an hour or so to whip up one of those little washcloths. I also, this year for Christmas, have decided that all of my kids and grandkids, all 13 of them, are going to get either mittens or fingerless gloves. So, I mean, I have the three littles uh, the, that are four, five, and six. Well, almost four. She's three and a half. She'll be four in December. Those, they're going to get little mittens. And the girls, my big girls, are all going to get mittens. And the boys will get fingerless gloves. Unless I hear from one of my bigger girls and they say they want fingerless mitts, then I will give them the fingerless ones. Although I've seen a pattern for the convertibles, I might try one of those. I thought those were interesting. Um, so you're going to see a lot of what I'm trying to get at is here is you're going to see a lot of mittens. Now, I had a pair sitting right here. I had finished a pair for, oh, here they are. I finished a pair for Olivia. And I think I have, I have two, the wrong two. What had happened was, and I'm going to uh, channel my, my friend, Laura and, uh, Seta. What had happened was, okay. I've got to find, I have a third one around here somewhere. Um, yeah, these are two different sizes. Can you tell? The, the pattern is from Brianna K. It's not the pattern. It was me. I was going through reading the pattern and I jumped from size. This is the child size. This is the preschool size. And somewhere I have another child size. I just don't, oh, here it is on the floor. Somehow I got knocked on the floor. So what did I end up doing? I, yeah, I ended up doing two child size that are almost identical, not perfectly identical, but almost identical enough. Cute, cute pattern. Look at the, is this is part of her wheat series? It's freaking adorable. I love this so much. Very easy pattern. Just took about two hours to make one mitten. Um, it's so cute. And so now I have three mittens and they're all not quite the same size. So my plan is, I still have some more yarn. I'm going to make one more and see if I can't get it to be exactly, one of these has got to be an exact match. I got to be able to figure it out. I don't know where I'm going wrong. I mean, my stitch counts are right. These are two, these two are the closest in size. If I can't figure it out, these are the two that she's going to get. But their mittens for a four-year-old. They'll be okay. I'm going to try one more time to try to get it at the right size and go from there. I have plenty of yarn. What I am using is the Yarn Bee Chloe, which this stuff is amazingly soft. This color is called Breezy Sunrise. Clarence, you guys can't get it anymore, and I feel bad because it's awesome yarn. Um, there's 270 yards of a number four, I believe, Yep, and it's 70% wool, 30% viscose, and it is really, I'm telling you, this yarn, I'm so, Hobby Lobby, come on, do better, bring this back, this is amazing yarn, I love this yarn so much. Anyway, this is the yarn that I'm using, and I've got it in a bunch of other colors, like I'm thinking this one for Sydney, this one for Allie, um, I've got a bunch of, I've got some of this to use. This is some Noro. I've got um, some chunky yarn that I might use. I've got a lot of yarn in my stash that is perfect for mittens that I've got small quantities of. So you're going to see a lot of mittens. And speaking of mittens, uh, did you all catch Judy at Judy's Creations and Crochet? Her video yesterday the new bird. Now I'm not going to show it to you this week. I want you all to go watch it on Judy's channel. Um, but I have picked out my yarn for that. And this is, and I'm using my Nako Mona Lisa yarn 
and these are the colors. So the bird is mostly this greenish color with a little bit of this brown, and the yellow is a little more brighter than this yellow, but this is the only yellow I had in the NACO, and it's okay. I'm okay with that. I want, I want to use four weight yarn, and I'm thinking these are going to become fingerless mitts for one of the boys. I am going to do, and I've picked out a pattern to do um, it in Tunisian, in Tunisian in the round. So these two are going to be the main colors, and this is going to be the cuff. So these two are the colors that are going to interchange when you're doing Tunisian in the round. I think it's going to be pretty, pretty freaking awesome. I love the idea. So um, what else is going on? Oh, the final thing I wanted to tell you about is... In my opening, I always say it's a little bit about knitting. Well, I haven't done a knit project yet this year. Last year, I did the um, Chunky Fall Cuddler, uh, the, the Double Dog Dare from Laura at Man Mimi's Crochet and Farming. And I'm, 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 I'm telling myself I need to do at least one knit pattern this year. And I came across um, a pattern, again, from Mama in a Stitch for this really beautiful cardigan. It's, uh, it's called like the Chunky, hold on, I'll get it on my computer because I have it saved in my Ravelry account. My computer will be cooperative. Come on now. All right, my computer's not being cooperative. Um, I'll put the name of the uh, pattern here. I will also link it in, I'll link it in my description box below finally got my computer up. Did you hear it talking? Stupid thing. Um, so here we go. It is called the, oh good gravy. <laughs> you guys would laugh if you saw this, uh, list of all the things that are in my, uh, Ravelry to-do list. It is pages and pages and pages long. Oh, good Lord. Where is it at? Come on now. I need you to be more cooperative than this. Okay. It's called my Big Comfy Ribbed Curdy. It is an easy pattern. Um, it uses bulky weight yarn. She used Q and Me by Lion Brand. I am using... Uh, and this is a mess. Thanks, Joann's. Um... Big Twist Gentle. Now I ordered a bunch of this. Um, they had it on clearance. I don't, they may still have some, they may not. It is a bulky five. The color is called denim and it's a beautiful color, like a steel blue. I don't think it looks like denim to me. Um, it is a bulky five and the pattern itself calls for a US 15 10 millimeter hook which I have because that's the same size that I used for the blanket. Um, you can, uh, no, I guess it's, yeah, you can get a, a ad free version on her Etsy shop, but the pattern itself is free on the blog. Now I will list this in my description box below, but if you just look at this big, chunky, warm, fuzzy, uh, just comfortable cardigan. This is exactly what I'm looking for. It's worked flat. It's oversized, has lots of positive ease. So I'll be doing the, the largest size. She says to you need between 822 yards and 1,233 yards. I have, these are like 131, 131 a piece. I have 10, 12 or 13 of these. So I will have plenty of yarn to do this. Um, and let's see, what else does she say about it? Anyway, I'm going to start this cardigan about the 15th of October. If you guys want to join in with me, you now have a few weeks to get together uh, the knitting needles and the chunky yarn that you'll need. It does not look difficult at all. I have looked at the pattern. I think we can do this. Um, it's got drop sleeves. So it's like you're putting the sleeves in after the thought. It's got 
big chunky pockets. It's going to be, I think, a not difficult for a beginning knitter. Now, I consider myself an extreme beginning knitter. Um, I can do a knit, I can do a purl, I can do knit two together. Um, so I don't know if there's a whole lot of shaping in this cardigan. Um, it just, it is so pretty and it's exactly what I wanted to do as a first shot out, first time doing a knit cardigan. So I'm trying to find the pattern, what she says about it. Um, come on my computer's running real slow today okay you need the thing da -da -da -da, and I don't need all the measurements come on yeah all you need to know how to do is knit purl and knit two together we got this you guys we can do this so you have a few days to get your uh equipment together um and we will do a an extra video going forward on thursdays about knitting a cardigan i'm excited about it so Season of smalls, we're gonna do a lot of small little projects, a lot of mittens, uh, one tote bag. We've got this big cardigan to go. We've got my special reserve project to go, which wait till you guys see this, and the cardigan for the next few months. So who's ready for the seasons of smalls and a knit project? Who's with me? Um, anyway, don't forget tonight, um, Boxy, uh, Boggy Creek Brigade Blanket Unboxing, hosted by me on my channel tonight, uh, 8 o'clock Eastern, whatever it is in your time zone, you're going to have to figure that out. Um, Lynette Charmed Grammy, Nancy, she's got yarn, and Juan, uh, the yarn addict, and I will be uh, doing our thing with the Boggy Blanket Brigade, so don't forget to come check us out. Um, so with that, you guys, I am going to let you go. Uh, it is a busy time around here, so let's keep going. Uh, if you have any questions, any comments, leave them in the comment section below or shoot me an email. Don't forget, we have a Facebook page that you can join or you can find me on Instagram or Ravelry. So I'm going to let you go. Remember to take care of yourself and give yourself some grace. But above all, be kind to everyone, and we will talk to you tomorrow. Have a good one.